Okay, discussion over here, we do all your go over locomotor skills. Locomotor skills are simply using your feet to move from one place to another. It can be on two feet, it can be on one foot. Locomotor skills are also the most basic of all movement patterns and are critical in your overall development so that you can perform more complex movements that are required in many different sports. The locomotors consist of running, hopping, skipping, galloping, jumping, sliding, leaping, and bounding. I'm going to go over the different locomotor skills with you and demonstrate how to perform them correctly. I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so the first locomotor skill we're going to go over today is running. Running is taking off of one foot, landing on the opposite foot, repeating that pattern as fast and as efficiently as you possibly can. Keep in mind that your upper body, specifically your arms, play a critical role in how quickly and efficiently you can run. Arms are bent at the elbow, fingers are relaxed. We pump our arms forward and back, making sure our hands do not cross the midline of our body. The midline is this imaginary line that goes straight down our body. As you can see my fingers go forward and back, my elbows are in tight. Also, you want to make sure your hands go from one cheek to the other. So my hand comes up to this cheek, cheek here, pumping those arms as fast as you can, initiating that at the shoulder joint. So let's go ahead and take a look of what running looks like in real speed. All right, the second locomotor skill we're going to go over today is hopping. Hopping is simply starting on one foot and landing on the exact same foot. You can start on the left foot, land on the left foot. You can start on the right foot, land on the right foot. You can hop going forwards, backwards, to the left, to the right, or up and back down. Some things to remember when you're hopping. First off, make sure you practice equally on each side of your body. So if you're hopping on the left foot practicing, make sure you practice hopping the same amount of time on the right leg. The foot or the leg that is off the ground should be bent. That foot's behind you, slightly forward. Make sure the knee that is off of the ground is also underneath this hip. So if this leg is up, this knee stays underneath. I don't want this knee out. Keep that knee in tight underneath your hip. You want to use that leg that's off of the ground to help propel or push you moving forward. Just like the run, you want to have your arms bent, elbows in tight, fingers relaxed. So let's see what the forward hop looks like in regular speed. I'll go on the left foot the first time, right foot coming back. All right, the next locomotor skill we're going to go over is called the skip. The skip is taking two skills and combining them into one movement. So we have a step and a hop. Whichever foot you step with, you will hop on that foot, and then you alternate to the opposite foot. So we call it a step hop, step hop. So feet side by side, if I step with my right leg, I step with that foot, then I'm gonna take a hop on that foot. Step with the left foot, hop on the left foot. Just like the run, you wanna keep your arms bent, making that letter L, your fingers are relaxed, your elbows are in tight to your side. Whichever knee is forward, the opposite hand should be forward. So if my right knee is forward, left hand forward. If my left knee is forward, my left hand is forward. It's important to try to get that knee up. I always tell the students to try to get that knee at least parallel to your hip. So let me go ahead and show you what a skip looks like in regular speed. All right, the fourth locomotor skill we're going to go over is called the gallop. During the gallop, we have a weak foot and a trail foot. One foot in front, one foot in back. During the gallop, the back foot never passes the front foot. When you're practicing the gallop, keep in mind you are pushing with the back foot, stepping with the front. Push with the back, step with the front. While practicing the gallop, it's important to make sure you always practice equal sides. So however much time you spend practicing with the left foot in front, 
make sure you spend the same amount of time with the right foot in front. Just like running, arms are bent, elbows are in, fingers are relaxed. I'm going to demonstrate to you what the gallop looks like in regular speed. First time with my left foot in front, the second time with my right foot in front. All right, the fifth locomotive skill we're going to go over today is called the jump. The jump is starting on two feet and landing on both feet at the exact same time. Many people get the jump and the hop confused. Remember earlier in the video we went over the hop. A hop is starting on one foot and landing on the same exact foot. A jump is starting on two feet, landing on two feet at the exact same time. You can do forward jumps, you can do backwards jumps, you can do side to side jumps. You can take small jumps forward, or you can take large jumps forward. I'm going to demonstrate to you what a forward jump looks like in just a moment. When you're doing the forward jump, you're going to squat down, take your arms, reach them back, and as you jump forward, you want to take your arms and bring them forward, having a nice, soft, quiet landing on your feet. So here's what the jump looks like in regular speed. The next locomotor skill is called the slide. The slide, you're moving in a forward direction, but your body is turned sideways. It's extremely important to learn this skill if you want to participate in field sports or court sports because it helps you be able to change the direction of your body rapidly, which is also known as agility. During the slide or shuffle, you want to make sure your feet never cross each other and your feet never touch each other. You're starting in an athletic position, so during the demonstration today, I'm going to be moving towards the cones, but my body is going to be facing you. You want to be in that athletic position, feet underneath your hips or slightly outside your hips, your hips are back, chest is up, your heels are off of the ground, and you're in that good athletic position. So let me demonstrate to you what the slide or shuffle looks like in regular speed. The next locomotor skill we're going to go over is called the leap. During the leap, you are starting on two feet, you will land on one foot. It's important that during the leap, whichever foot you're reaching forward with, that back foot you are pushing or driving forward. So I'm going to start with two feet on the ground, I'm going to step or reach with my right leg, which means I'm going to push forward with my left leg. Two feet on the ground, reach, and push. So let me demonstrate to you what the leap looks like in regular speed. All right, the last thing we're going to go over today is called the bound. The bound is basically an exaggerated run, meaning your stride length is going to be longer, and you're also going to be getting off the ground higher than you would in a traditional run. The purpose of a bound is to increase your power and efficiency while moving in a linear direction or in a forward direction. So as your stride length is exaggerated, your arms are also going to be exaggerated, so they're going to be coming a little bit further in front and behind you than they would in a traditional run. When I demonstrate the bound to you, I'm going to be outside of the camera, and then you'll see me come into the camera and back out of it. When you're doing a bound, you want to start with a 5 to 10 yard jog to build up into the bound, and then you're going to go into the bound, which again is an exaggerated run increased stride length, and you're also increasing the height off the ground. So you're trying to get high in the air and cover as much space as you can all at the same time with the goal of increasing power and efficiency. So here's what it looks like in regular speed. I hope you enjoyed the locomotive video and have a better understanding.
understanding of how to perform each locomotor skill correctly. Remember, quality counts, so make sure when you're practicing the locomotor skills, you're doing it with correct form. Keep in mind, changing the speed and or direction will make the locomotor skills easier and or harder. I hope you have a great rest of the day.